안녕하세요. Hello and welcome to Fluent Korean. This course is called Korean Grammar 1.10, 한국어 문법 1.10. This is part 1 of lesson 10, 제 10과. The title of this lesson is called, I am not a housewife. 전 주부가 아니에요. So let's look at the sentence that says, I am not a housewife. 전 주부가 아니에요. 전 is the contracted form of 저, which means the pronoun I, plus the topic marking particle 는. So how would you say, I am a singer, using the polite contracted form of I, plus the topic marker? The answer is, 전 가수예요. So now let's look at the word 난, which is the contracted form of 나, which is the familiar form of I, with the topic marking particle 는. So how would you say, I am not a judge? using the contracted familiar form of I plus the topic marking particle 는. The answer is 난 판사가 아니에요. Let's learn a new vocabulary word. 외국 means foreign in Korean. 인 means person in Korean. So to say I am a foreign person using the formal contracted I, you'd say 전 외국인이에요. In Korean, nationality can be formed by adding the name of a country plus 인. So, for example, a Korean person will be expressed as a 한국인. 한국 is the country, and when you add 한국 to 인, you get Korean person. In the same way, when you add 외국, which means foreign, to 인, you get foreign person. Now, you might be wondering the difference between 인, 사람, and 본. 사람 is a common way to say person in Korean, but 본 is a politer way to say person than 사람. Also, in is commonly expressed in Sino-Chinese characters called hanja. In Korean newspapers and official documents like birth certificates, Sino-Korean characters are often used in place of hangul. These Sino-Korean characters are called hanja. So, for example, you might see the word in represented like this. So, in a Korean newspaper, you might see the word foreigner or foreign person expressed like this, 외국인, which is a mixture of hangul and hanja. We'll learn more about hancha in later lessons, so don't worry too much about it now. Let's do some practice. How would you say, I am an Italian person, using the contracted familiar form of I? The answer is, 난 이탈리아인이에요. Now, even though pronouns and topic markers are often omitted, you can use them in successive order for emphasis. For example, let's look at these two sentences. 난 저분 아니에요. 난 박철수예요. These sentences in English mean, I am not that person over there. I am 철수 Park. So 난 was used in the second sentence for emphasis, even though it was obvious who was doing the talking. Okay, let's do another exercise. How would you say, I am not that person, I am Andre, using the contracted formal I? And how would you emphasize this? The answer is, 전저 사람 아니에요. 전 안드레예요. Notice that the E particle is missing after the word 사람. That's because in daily conversations, Koreans often drop particles. But you may add the E particle if you want to be meticulous about not dropping particles. So let's take a look at this conversation. Someone asked, 의사예요? Are you a doctor? And another person responded, 아니요. 전 의사가 아니에요. 전 간호사예요. No, I am not a doctor. I am a nurse. Let's do another exercise. How would you say, are you an office worker? And how would you answer, no, I am not an office worker. I am a CEO. Are you an office worker will be, 회사원이에요? And no, I am not an office worker. I am a CEO will be, 아니요, 전 회사원이 아니에요. 전 사장이에요. One note I want to point out is that when you're referring to yourself, you can't use 사장님. You have to use 사장. You'll know in later lessons why this is so, but for now, just know that nim is an honorific suffix, and it's not permitted to use this suffix for yourself. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.